underwater observatory mysteriously disappears, it was measuring and experimenting in the Baltic Sea. This is on Sputnik News just in. The final signal from the underwater observatory, Bochnis Ek, was sent reportedly on 21st of August, with divers later discovering, when they went to find out where it could have gone to, the torn cable just 1.2 miles off Germany's Baltic coast. A massive underwater observatory was there, used for environmental research. It was located in a restricted area of German coast and it's disappeared. Fishing boats and other types of vessels were not allowed to be in the area. Its operator was Geomar, and it said in a statement, the Geomar Hem Holtz Center for Ocean Research is a maritime a marine research institute located in the German port city of Kiel. Geomar head of oceanographic research Hermann Bange said that scientists received final signal from the Bucknes Eck Observatory 21st August at 8.15 p.m. and that at first researchers thought of a transmission error. But when they sent divers down, who were dispatched to force, for force to see what happened at the area, they only found torn cable 72 feet below the surface, 1.2 miles off Germany's Baltic coast at Eckernford Bay. Now, the observatory instruments weighing a total of 1,700 pounds, about one and a half tons, means that it could hardly have been dragged away by storms because it was so heavy or even by marine animals. So Banj appealed for any witnesses that could have seen any suspicious activity in the area. As we said, no fishing, no other vessels, no uh, recreational uh, boats were allowed in the area. He noted that scientists get from the $330,000 observatory priceless information, the Born Bucknes Eck Observatory, run by GMR jointly with Hemholz Center, Germany's latest scientific organization. No boats allowed, no fishing boats in the area where the observatory is located. So, any witnesses? Tracking suspicious activity are asked to give the information. Boris Eck specifically measures changes in temperature as well as levels of salt, oxygen, nutrients, chlorophyll, and even methane in the Baltic Sea. So it's there doing Baltic Sea research. Oh, I wonder if, has, if it has anything to do with the Baltic Sea anomaly that we have down there. Who knows? Baltic Sea. I don't know. It's very mysterious. This is on Sputnik News. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.